Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Malucha, and welcome back to New World. In today's episode, we are gonna continue with our PvP track reward, and we are currently on track 21. So, yeah, I've uh, recently got the silver reward, and the next one is gonna be gold at 50. So, yeah, 30 more tracks before we actually go, go there. So let's see what we get for track 21. Uh, small brown potion pack, no. Large Cata uh, Cartago potion pack, tier 5. Medium bundle of faction tokens, so yeah, easy pick, bundle tokens. We get checkpoint 2, large pile of faction tokens, uh, 5,400, it's actually not too bad. Medium pile of gold coins, 980, and then a tier 4 pack, so again, faction tokens, thank you. Especially now, like, I want to buy as many keys for the dungeons as I can. Um, simply because, well, if the new patch hits, every key that you have will be reset into uh, loot from that dungeon. And it is not equivalent to the amount of resources you can get from a, from a full run, but the amount is still really proper. Uh, so I definitely want to take up all the mutation uh, well, keys that I can, and then all the different... Like, in the depths now. Like, I haven't run the depths once yet. And, and definitely want to pick up uh, a couple keys for that as well. Uh, we get the Embedded Solemizer's Headdress of the Sage. So, medium headwear with focus, resilient, and unbroken winds. Gain 10% mana after a full wind chill burst. I have no idea what a wind chill burst even is. Wind chill. It sound, it's probably ice gauntlets, I think. So this might actually not be too bad for medium. I kind of want to buy it to see how it looks. It might actually look pretty pretty nice. We got the Sword of the Champion Strength Cruel with Vicious and Keenly Empowered. Actually not too bad of a sword. Keenly Empowered is pretty good. And then we got uh, two vials of Azoth Salt for 500. So 2,000 of uh, Azoth Salt for 500. Really not bad either, but yeah, we still got 67,000. So I'm gonna buy the heads just to see how it looks. Let's buy the rewards. Track 21 complete. Really nice. And then, uh, yeah, let's go inventory. And let's put this thing on. Oh, this is actually not, not bad. Let's, let's stand in the sun. It's actually a pretty cool looking hat. It's kind of, I always, I always feel like, well, with what I'm wearing right now, with the chest I'm wearing, like, you get an open neck and then uh, an open front, like, your, your, well, your neck is completely open. But with something that has, like, a collar, so it kind of closes off. I kind of like this design. If you go swim underwater, you're, you're basically a shark. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm going to continue with uh, the next OPR for today's uh, daily gypsum that I still need. And, uh, yeah, get some more uh, more PvP points, right? So we can uh, complete the next track as well. Let's see what we get for track 22. So, small Super Resposh Pack Tier 5. Okay. So, Zebulon, Super Rest Charm, Infused Health Potions. Idolider's Glove of the Sage Focus. Elemental version with Fortifying Rain of Arrows. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's a joke gloves. Uh, large ruby potion pack, tier 5, ruby tonic, tonic of levy, infused health potion, powerful gemstone dust, and infused regeneration potion. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy this, because 82,000. Like, even if I buy something out of every track, I still go up. Like, uh, okay, let's buy this. Uh, small pile of faction tokens, 3,400. Tempered idolator spans of the sage, so focus with shuriken heals. And resilient. It's actually not too bad. But still, I would rather have it uh, that it does have, like, maybe freedom instead of resilience. And then instead of shuriken heals, because you're a healer, uh, if you run with focus. Well, if, if you run a healer build on focus, you can run a... Well, yeah, basically healer build on focus. Um... You're able to heal yourself, so why would you have a healing ability in there, right? So it's better to have one of your uh, life staff abilities on there than an actual, uh, well, PvP perk that can heal. 
So, no, thank you. And cast rip longsword of the soldier with exhausted exploitation and trend rent. So, inflict rent and inflict slow. So, there's actually... So, a double debuff that you can place with this one. It's actually not too bad. Again, though, isn't it better if you go DPS to have crit and crit damage on there? Instead of a double, double... Uh, yeah, maybe for PvP it might actually be good. I don't really play PvP, so... Well, yeah, I, I play a healer and OPR, and that's about it. So I'm gonna go for a small pile of faction tokens. Uh, we got a large heap of coin. 1,400 is actually not bad. Two vials of Azoth Assault. And the Cruel's Champion Hatchet of the Soldier. Strength with Vicious and Fractured Rents. When block breaking a player, inflict rent, reducing damage absorption by 12% for 4 seconds. It is a 600 weapon, so uh, usually the armor pieces or the weapon pieces come by uh, below 600. So this is actually the first item we see that is already at level 600. 15,000 points. So yeah, I, I, I thought at one point we needed to get like... And I presume that like if... This is like 600 with just an epic. I presume the legendaries, if we are gonna get legendaries in here, are gonna be 20, 25,000. So, yeah, maybe saving up a little bit might not be so bad, but I'm gonna go for. Eh. Are we gonna go for the coins? Yeah, sure. <laughs> we just go for the coins. There we go. Track 22 complete. Track 23. Let's see, we get checkpoint one small Astra potion pack with Astra tonic, tonic of Nerva, and infused health potions. A medium ruby potion pack tier five with uh, infused health potion, powerful gemstone dust, and infused regeneration potions. So, actually, not too bad. Uh, we got reinforced solemnizers, glove of the century, constitution, physical ward, vigor, and resilient. Actually, not too bad if it wasn't medium gloves and constitution. Like, flat stat constitution. I'd, I'd rather have, like, any other uh, abil well, any other statistics on that and just fill out constitution with the uh, talent points than actually fill out the other one with talent points. So, I'm gonna go for the medium potion back tier 5. We Ooh, oh, all right. Almost uh, thought I completed the track. So for checkpoint two, we got reinforced prestige, idolizer pants of the scholar, intelligence with resilient and keen berserker. Okay, medium pile of faction tokens, four thousand four hundred, and enchanted tights, con constitution, <clears throat> and enchanted tights with constitution, refreshing and resilient. I'm gonna go for the medium uh, bundle of faction tokens. And then checkpoint three, we got the Tempered Prestige, Idolizer Shirt of the Scholar, Light Chest Gear with Intelligence, Resilience, and Crippling Blast Shot. This might actually not be too bad. Um, quickly check attributes. Yeah, Blunderbuss does work on Intelligence. So I'm going to go actually for this chest piece. And then a large heap of coins, uh, 1,400, and padded solemnized headdress of the soldier. Strength with refreshing ward and shirking heals. Again, refreshing ward really isn't a good perk. Um, the, it's 1.8% uh, cooldown reduction, so that's actually not bad. But it's just, you you basically don't want to get hit to, at, a, well, at the least amount in PvP. So... I, I, I don't really see Refreshing Ward working anywhere, honestly. So I'm going to go for the shirt, actually. And this is actually the first, like, item from gear that I would say, like, well, no, the shields. The shield that I came across was actually interesting as well. And I'm still kind of, still doubting, actually, if I should have bought it or not. But, yeah, uh, track 23 complete on to 24. Surprisingly, it's going pretty well this week to actually get the tracks done. A, a, a track and a half per day, almost, for the three three days and a half. Yeah, three days and a half, I think, that I've been uh, a little bit trying to farm for them. Uh, so let's check what we got for 24. A large bundle of coins, 805. That's actually not too... That's actually not large at all. A uh, small Cartago potion pack tier 5 with Issachar, uh, Carthago, and health potions. 
So it is a small pack, only three three items. We got the Burnished Prestige Solomiter's Glove of the Century. Constitution, Deadly Frost, uh, Resilient, Medium Gloves. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. We got a large pile of faction tokens, so yeah, <laughs> kind of already know what I'm going to buy. We got a medium ruby potion pack, uh, tonic of uh, ruby tonic, levy tonic, health potion, gemstone, and regeneration potion. And now we got the pristine shattered grievous of the century. Constitution with mending throw and resilience on a heavy leg wear for your uh, strength users out there. So I'm gonna go uh, definitely for the uh, for the faction tokens uh, simply because I want to buy as much keys before the the new patch hits, right? And then uh, yeah, we got <clears throat> we got a legendary in here, uh, which was I saw Sage on it. It was like, oh baby, come on, give me something good. Uh, focus. So big fan. Single stat focus. Big fan. Refreshing evasion. Refreshing Evasion is actually not too bad. Refreshing itself is more stable, but Refreshing Evasion, basically uh, you get you get cooldown on dodge and you dodge a lot to keep your uh, heal buffs up. So it's actually not really not bad. Resilient on it, really good, and an Energizing Stopping Power. Stamina on kill with Stopping Power. It's uh, Intellect's uh, Agility. <laughs> So, uh, a dexterity. I call it agility every time. So, yeah, it's basically uh, the musket's stopping power. So, yeah, really not good. If this was... Um, if this was uh, vigor or if it was... Uh, it's freedom? Especially freedom. If this was freedom, I'd have, even if it was medium footwear, I would have instantly bought them. But yeah, and fifteen thousand. So yeah, we are getting in the. We saw that uh, a couple, a couple of rewards ago. We saw that that the price of the items is going up as we get larger and better and better items. So we got the Bergen's Gaze Constitution with refreshing evasion and resilient on there. Medium headwear and a medium heap of coins, thousand two hundred and fifty. So I'm thinking as we're gonna get more and more um, like expensive uh, items. I'm thinking that I'm not gonna buy like every like a, a while back I said like I'm overflowing with Azod. I, I just need to start buying like every checkpoint. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that anymore. Uh, I'm basically gonna like go towards 90 90,000 and then when I'm at 90,000 then I'm gonna see that I don't overcap it. but yeah, I'm not really eh, 3,500. It's like instantly, and I got enough potions. Like hell, hell, I got enough potions. So should we go for? No, let's go for the gold coins. There we go, twenty-four complete, and uh, yeah, fifty tracks for the next reward. So uh, we're still, we're almost halfway. Uh, on to track twenty-five, and the last track for this episode, track twenty-five, is complete as well. Checkpoint. One, we got a brown potion pack tier four, not interested. Prestige idolators, uh, gloves of the century, constitution, contagious reverse step, and resilience. Uh, reverse step transfers an active debuff from self to target hits. It's actually a really fun perk to work with uh, on light gloves. Hmm. It's actually a pretty, pretty fun per perk to work with. I'm just, I'm, 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 I don't know why, but I'm not really a fan of resilient. Like, I'd rather have, uh, rather have any other work on it than resilient. Like, freedom, I find freedom so much more important than resilient. Resilient is if you get hit, freedom is if you can make sure that you don't get hit as much. Like, that's way more important in my book. Uh, we got medium judo potion pack tier 4. So, first tier, I'm not going to pick anything. Uh, 80,000 Azot salt. I know, I know. Uh, we got conscript earrings. I think this is... Is this the first earring we see in here? Uh, so, constitution with refreshing and refreshing toast. And then slash damage absorption. Refreshing and refreshing toast. Yeah, there are better... 
uh, drops out there that just drop from PvE that are... Because I don't think this is a legendary piece either. It's a named item. So it will only have two perk. But I know a couple, at least two earrings that can drop with this combination on it. And a third perk because they are legendary. So not really good. Uh, we got a small pile of coins. 850 Prestige Shattered Grievous of the Century. Constitution Resilient and Penetrating Wrecking Ball. Uh, wrecks the... 18% of the target's armor, so not bad at all. Heavy leg wearers, though, and most, most, at least from what I can see in PvP and in OPR, that's the PvP I play, most go for light gear, like a complete light setup. Or maybe just, it all depends, right? If they use shields, then it's a complete light setup. If they don't use shield and just... Go for hammer and axe. They basically can go with a medium pants or a medium chest to actually make it work. But heavy would set you into the medium threshold and not the light armor threshold anymore. So not really sure. The font is a named life staff again. And we get refreshing move with blessed. We already bought this one before. And we actually leveled it up to level 600 to see which perk we got on there. Um, now, I am interested in actually buying this to check out, because it is a named item, the font. To check out if we get the same perk, or if there can be a difference in the perks that we can get. Uh, and we do get Burmished Prestige Solemnizer's Breast, Breast Guard of the Sage, with Focus Accelerated Flamethrower and Resilient. Yeah, Movement Speed. Like, I don't know. Is movement speed really important with PvP, guys? Just let me know. Because uh, I, I really have no idea. And then medium... Well, medium can work for a light, uh, light, uh, light gear setup. So that might actually be good. And then two vials of Azot Salt. So I'm going to take the font out of all the pieces. Maybe... Yeah, maybe I'm just going for the coins as well. Like, why not, right? I don't really have a lot of coins at this point. And let's complete the track. Yes, we do. 25 complete. And this is after I pulled some resources and actually leveled this up to level 600, this life staff. And actually check out what the other perk might be. Because now that uh, weapon perks on actual weapons are going to be better, I kind of want to check if the font can have like... Well, the best one that I want on there would be Sacred Ground. And I probably already ran past two storage boxes. <laughs> but this is the one I know out of my head. Uh, but I kind of want to see if I can get, um, can get Sacred Ground on there. So... Not current location, but we need to go to Valor Holtz. Yeah, let's pull these out of here. And let's upgrade this piece to 600. There we go. Only 215, so actually pretty cheap to actually see what the third perk is going to be. So let's upgrade it. Yes. And what is the perk? Acrolytis Punishment. PvP only deal 8% additional damage to players with haste. I think... This was exactly the same perk that we got last time. Like I felt like it was a, a it was a PvP only perk, and it really wasn't all that good in my mind. And to play us with haste, like again, I I'm, I'm really not sure if haste is any good. If if a lot of people are, well, haste means you can get away from your enemy more. So maybe for casters, that might actually be good to get away from melee users. And maybe for melee users, it might be good to actually be able to close the gap towards the ranged DPS more. So maybe, maybe haste is maybe haste or movement speed is actually pretty good in PvP. I have no idea, but I do feel that this is exactly the same one. Did we keep the last one? It should be in not weak. Where is our gear weaver's fan? Yeah, weaver's fan. Do we still have that light staff? Yeah, it is not in here. So this is basically my storage box for all pieces of gear that I find interesting. So I'm going to keep this one. Uh, later on, if we get another font, I definitely want to 
Like, I'm gonna take it again, and I'm gonna do the test again. Or I should check out the previous footage. Uh, I can do that as well. And check out if it was the same perk that we actually got. Uh, that way, I know that I never need to go for the font again. Because, uh, well, blessed refreshing move, and then... Well, on the Will of the Ancient, you basically got refreshing on there. Um, but like I said, having an actual heal skill on your life staff will become better. So it's it's kind of a test. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. But sit your ass down like we always do. If you want to see more of my Let's Play or my PvP track and uh, me going over every reward that's in there. Uh, here in New World or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.